We got another day and another new anti-landlord proposal coming out of California, man. I could do this literally all day, every day, and still not hit every anti-landlord legislation that they're proposing in that state. Uh, this one, this one's coming out of Sacramento, guys. They now want to restrict your right to ban pets in your properties. Let's talk. <laughs> All right, y'all, what are they doing to you in Sacramento? What are they doing to you in California, right? They do everything and anything that they could think of uh, to try to ruin your lives, ruin your livelihood, ruin your business, right? Uh, here's an article. I'll link the entire article uh, below if you want to read it. Finding an apartment may be easier for California pet owners under new legislation, okay? Um Long story short, it's a new bill. I don't think you actually care what the bill is. If you want to know the actual name of the bill, just read the freaking article. But more or less, they want to do this twofold. And it's the second one that I really, really, really dislike. I mean, I guess I dislike both of them. But let me explain. They want to outlaw your ability to say no pets. Now, when I talk about this, just so we're clear, I'm not talking about the... Um, like disability pets, right? Uh, the companion animals. For instance, it's like illegal everywhere. If like there's a blind person and they have a seeing eye dog, that doesn't count, okay? You're not allowed to deny that dog. That is a companion animal everywhere, okay? Everywhere. Everybody's on board with that, right? So I don't need anybody like, what about the blind? I get it. Every We're not talking about that, okay? This new law... They're trying to make it to where you cannot allow any, you cannot deny people from having pets, right? So even if you have a no pet policy anywhere in America, if you have a no pet policy, a blind dude comes in and he's got a seeing eye dog, everybody's already on the same page that that dude's dog still gets to go into the apartment. You can't deny him for having a seeing eye dog. We get that. That's not what we're talking about. They're talking about your ability to deny anybody uh, with a pet, right? So outside of seeing eye dogs, if you're just like, yo, this dude and this chick, they got like four fucking pit bulls. Nah, don't want them fucking chewing my uh, door frames, pissing on my carpet, et cetera, et cetera. I don't want to deal with that. I don't want them barking, bothering my neighbors, right? They're restricting your ability to do that. They're saying, nope, you can no longer do that. If they want to have a dog, a cat, an iguana, whatever, a freaking pet boa constrictor, I don't know. California's like, let them. It doesn't matter if it's your property. Now, me personally, you might think, oh, this dude is a very anti-pet landlord. That's actually not true. Uh, in certain situations, we allow pets. Actually, like, for instance, when I have a larger building, right, like if I have like a 20, 30-unit apartment, uh, we like to allow people to have cats, okay, uh, and then we charge a fee for the cats, uh, but we try to restrict dogs in those kinds of buildings because you got all those neighbors and they're freaking barking and it just drives everybody insane and all the neighbors complain about the noise. Uh, and then like in single families and things of that nature, we're pro-dog. We're down to let people have pets, but we always charge because on average, if you put in 100 dogs in 100 rental units versus 100 other rental units that didn't have dogs, the amount of damage is always going to be higher on the 100 that allowed pets than the 100 that didn't. Of course, there's going to be outliers. Some pet units are going to have a lot of damage. Some will have a little bit of damage. Some no pet units are going to have a lot. Uh, some are going to have a little. But when it all is averaged out, as somebody who has had thousands of tenants, y'all, most of which on the Section 8 platform, uh, it's always going to average out where the, the units that have pets more damage on average. Now, you might be like, yeah, but, you know, you're Section 8. All your tenants are animals. <laughs> That's also negotiable. That's also debatable. But what I'm telling you is the Section 8 folks or not Section 8 folks, whatever, Section 8 folks with pets, without pets, more or less, it always shakes out to where the units with the pets costs us landlords more money. So what I've always done, how I've always run my property management businesses, is we do allow pets in those situations, but we charge for it, right? Because that's what 
business is about, mitigating your risks, creating products and services that you could sell at a profit, right? So we are leasing pet-friendly units at a profit, not trying to do it at a loss. That's how business works. That's business 101. They don't follow that kind of stuff uh, in California because they don't care because they don't let you charge. Not only are you not allowed to deny, you are not allowed to charge pet fees, which is even more insane. So now they are forcing you to put Fido in the unit and you're not allowed to charge a reasonable amount to mitigate your risk that the average pet occupied unit is going to do. That, folks, is terrible. That's why people are leaving California. That's why business owners are getting out of that state. I thought Sacramento was supposed to be one of the least woke cities in California, to my understanding. I mean, to me, it's all woke. It's all insane to me, dude. I'm from freaking Ohio. What those mongrels in California are doing, it's all like crazy woke and insane to me. But like there's levels of wokeness. And I always have been told that Sacramento is it's not normal. It's not like regular America, but it, it's not Los Angeles either. It's not San Francisco either. But this legislation's coming out of the Sacramento area. No longer allowed to deny dogs. They don't care if those dogs are going to piss on your carpet, are going to eat your baseboards, are going to chase the neighbors, keep the neighbors up at night, going to cost you more money. You don't get to charge money for that. You just got to eat it because this is California. And in California, we fucking hate landlords. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.